Knockout cup football in the raw. Right where Middlesbrough can sit back and look to. He's continued his run, but he's offside. Talked about moving with the swing and the momentum. Knocked on by force. Thiago Silva needs to get them back. Back from Fernandez. It's Mudrick. Deflection behind for a corner at the end of what was Chelsea's most encouraging move so far. Yeah, the best bit of play. Uh, Arriving rather than oh, that's a good run. Chilwell, he's got that, and it's wide. He's asking, he's asking for the penalty. I don't think he's going to get. And a thread it through for Raheem Sterling. Sterling's on, and Breyer puts it in, and Chelsea level the tie. Inside the first quarter of an hour, Chelsea's centre forward makes it 1 1. He build up, it's back with Rogers. Petrovic had to make the save. Oh, it's well worked. That's a good chance. Now some covering back under pressure from Chilwell. Palmer. See. Palmer. A slip. Rogers going. Flew across. Colwell. Yeah, his pace. It's much so frustrating to him, most of all, that he you know. Mudrick looking to run in behind. Vandenberg doing enough. Not getting a touch either, so a goal kick for Middlesbrough. Oh, there's a little bit of panic on. Only finding Clark. Erling. Back to De Sassi. There's Broya. And now Fernandez! And now Chelsea hit the front. Chelsea's Argentinian World Cup winner sets them on the road. Taking a risk, Broya taking an opportunity. Rogers and he left it on an injection of pace. And Palmer, where he likes it, and Fernandez. Yeah, I've not stopped talking about that all night, but it's fascinating me the tactics of Middlesbrough this season. But the goals have started to come more regularly. Sassi with the first touch, Palmer finding Sterling to Sassi! It's three for Chelsea on the night. And they are taking a firm grip on this semi-final now. Axel de Sassi with his first ever goal in this competition. Three. Now Mudrik. Strong challenge by Crooks, and he looks at the referee knowing what's coming his way. Yeah, Enzo Fernandez, who spent much of the half playing. Oh, Palmer has robbed it for Chelsea, and Palmer has surely made sure for Chelsea. A defensive disaster. Dan Balassa on his haunches, Michael Carrick's side on their knees. And Chelsea. Caicedo. De Sassi. And the first leg was the stuff of dreams for Michael Carrick and for Middlesbrough. This first half at Stamford Bridge has been close to a nightmare.